Hello there and welcome back to another GTA 5 mission walkthrough from P. Fisher Gaming. Today we have Flood the LS River, which is one of my favourite missions from GTA 5 online. Just because it's quite simple and the way I do it is quite fun. And I use a sniper for most of it. So yeah, if you've got it as one of your missions on your phone then obviously you're already on it. If not, just follow like I'm doing now from the GTA missions. And yeah, you just want to go straight through onto that, wait for it all to load up, and then you may as well pop it into hard just because it's quite a simple mission. And then you're just going to want to double check that you've got some sniper ammo and obviously a sniper as well. And then yeah, you may as well buy the super armor just because why not? Every little helps. And then yeah, you can obviously do this with a friend if you want, but I'm just going to do this by myself for the purpose of this video. So yeah, so when you load up, I'm actually already at the location just to make this video a little bit quicker, and so I don't have to commute there. But you want to be on this bridge just above where the green dot is situating, saying where the, it's actually meth that you have to go and steal. Yeah, so just where my car is there, it's where you want to position yourself on the bridge up here. Obviously you don't have to do it this way, this is just the way I like to do it. You can try positioning yourself from different areas, like to the right is somewhere we go in a moment after this. But yeah, there's about 10 or 12 people, I've never really been able to count, as it seems to change every time and some hide in different places. But yeah, I found if you shoot this guy right at the front here, the lucky dude just did that, no one seems to notice. And also, this guy right over here as well, they don't care about him either, I think he's either having a cigarette or he's on the phone or something like that. Not really too sure. But yeah, they're quite two nice shots to get away because the pack in the middle don't really seem to notice that anything's going to miss. And I'm pretty sure this guy as well, I don't think they notice him. So yeah, so that's three people that you've just been able to shoot there without anybody noticing and doing that. And then obviously as soon as we shoot one of them in the middle of the pack, everyone starts to realise, oh, I've just missed him there. But yeah, now all you want to do, you just want to go around sniping everyone. Obviously if you get headshots, it's a little bit easier. But sometimes you just need to snipe before they move and yeah, like I say there. And then yeah, just finish off your kill, make sure you get them. The problem is, because there is quite a lot of barriers, one or two of them can hide, but it's just, when you go running down there straight away, especially if you're by yourself, you will just get absolutely destroyed, and even if you're in close range combat and you're hid behind one of the containers down there, then you still have to move every time to do it, and it's just a bit more difficult, and especially on hard mode, they do seem to shoot you very easily and very quickly. So yeah, it helps if you've got your car up here with you, because obviously you can go down to get the meth. And you can go this side of the bridge, down and through a little vent in the drainage system. But I prefer to come over this way, and then take a left there, and then shoot over and over this little bridge. Just because that way I don't actually have to wreck my car too much. I don't have to go down, and also it's just... Uh, plan the exit as I'm going to just park my car up here next to this bridge one so it doesn't get damaged even though I'm already being shot at now and yeah just select your machine gun and obviously there's not too many of them to kill now so you don't really need to run to cover just wait for them to pop up and just shoot them as you do yeah so I think there's about four or five left so I'm just going to have to go ahead and dispose of all of those and yeah obviously so if you hadn't done the sniping before you'd have come down here similar to this or you'd have been up on the hill or behind one of the containers and it just would have been extremely more nice. Oh, I don't think I don't think she's dead. No, she's an oh bless her. Oh. Put her out of her misery. Slurp. But yeah. So just sniping everyone before, it's a little bit fun. Like there's not too many missions where you actually get to snipe people, so I kind of I quite enjoy sniping so I think it's a I always try I just always try to do it when I can really and if there's missions where it's suitable then why not I mean when you're sniping people from a distance they can't actually shoot you back and like you saw up on the bridge they weren't actually able to hit me at all so I've come away and they've only taken a small amount of my life yeah I did have ammo but who needs it and then yeah so when you leave 
lots of people come in, I think it's vans or something, I'm not too sure, I always seem to get away too quickly before I actually get to see. But yeah, now all you've got to do is just head to Gerald's apartment, and this is practically a mission done right here, all you've got to do is turn up and give them to him, preferably without destroying your car and missing the entrance. Good one. And yeah, and then just head in and say hello to Gerald. And yeah, that is Flood the Ellis River done. One of the simpler missions and Great. just it's quite a nice fun way to do it without having to just run in and shoot everyone straight away. You, do, you don't get too bad of a pay either. I've done this mission quite a few times, like making this video as well. So usually you get about 16k for it, but obviously I'm only getting half that because I've done this mission so many times and I think this mission's unlocked at sort of level 20 anyway. So yeah, that's Flood the Ellis River. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, stay tuned for more from P Fisher Gaming. Thank you very much for watching.